Hey everyone out there on the internet, this is Chris McHugh with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Uh, so today we finally got in a Taylor 317E. This is part of Taylor's new Grand Pacific body shape that they debuted at the NAMM show. Uh, it's a V-class round shoulder dreadnought um, and it has an entirely new tone uh, for Taylor guitars. Really a rounder tone, um, not quite as articulate, a lot more warmth to it. But what we've generally had uh, to demo for you on our videos uh, were the, uh, the 517 and the 717, which were builder's edition models. Both beautiful guitars, torrified tops, rounded features, great playability. But the third model uh, in that kind of launch of the new body shape is this guy, the 317E. There's also a 317 non-E version. So it brings the new Grand Pacific body shape and tone to a lower price range. Um, so if you're like a working musician or you just want something that's under $1,000 or $2,000, I should say, then this is for you. Uh, US made Taylor's El Cajon factory features a solid Sitka spruce top, solid Sapele back and sides, features that you would typically find in the 300 series black fiber binding, uh, the gemstone inlay, uh, chrome Taylor tuners, but it does have the beautiful Grand Pacific tooled uh, leather look case. Uh, so if you haven't seen those or haven't been paying attention, the Grand Pacifics are launching with an absolutely beautiful case. The 300 uh, series model gets that. So otherwise, the aesthetics and, and a lot of the specs are what you'd come to expect in the 300 series, as well as the price, $1899 to $2000, uh, depending upon whether it's with a pickup, without a pickup. Um, it's a very affordable guitar. Now, we want to demonstrate this for you, but I didn't want to just demo it for you. I realize that you guys like comparisons. Um, and Taylor probably hates it when we do this. Probably most manufacturers do because, you know, they want their guitars to, to you know, be presented based upon their own uh, benefits. But I realize that if you are buying a guitar, if you're shopping for a guitar, you are likely comparing uh, various models, you know, and you, you probably have an idea of what you want. Um, so... With that said, we want to compare it to another pretty popular uh, round shoulder dreadnought in the same price range. This is a Gibson uh, J15. Now the J15 has been a popular guitar for a long time. It is also a round shoulder dreadnought. Of course, actually in Gibson parlance, the J stands for jumbo. Uh, so this was their jumbo guitar. Uh, but you know, today we call it a, a dreadnought. Um, it features a solid Sitka spruce top with walnut back and sides, okay, which is going to give you a brighter sound, but pretty similar actually to Sapele in a lot of ways. Um, it's a narrower nut, it's a shorter scale length, it's a walnut fingerboard and bridge versus ebony. It does have a pickup system, it's an LR bags element uh, in it, comes with a hard shell case, and it's fully nitro cellulose gloss finished. Uh, the Taylor 300, uh, 317, like most 300 series, would be a, a gloss top with uh, satin finish back inside. So um, so there you have it. They are in about the same price range. The Gibson, I think, is $50 more, $48 more, something to that effect uh, on the sale prices. Uh, but otherwise, pretty similar guitars, priced pretty similarly. And with Taylor going for this new shape um, and a new sound, it's fun to compare. I will say this. I know someone's going to put this in the comments. Yes, Martin debuted uh, a new 17 series at the NAMM show, which would be a great comparison to put in this video. We haven't received one yet. So write to Martin and say, why haven't you shipped Alamo their three, their, was it, it's a 17, D17SS. So it's also a uh, kind of slope or rounded shoulder dreadnought um, that is around the same price range. So when we get one of those in, for all of those people who were about to type, uh, we will do a similar comparison. And if you already typed that, then you should have watched the whole video. So, all right, now, without any further ado, we're going to compare these so you can see what they sound like.
So there you have it. Taylor's new 317E is available now, finally in stores. Um, it's reaching most retailers in March, those who are carrying Grand Pacific guitars, and that is not all of the Taylor dealers, in case you were not aware. Here at Alamo Music, we have a ton of them. 317s, 517s, 717s, anything that your heart desires, we will get you, I promise. But I wanna know what you thought. How did the 317 compare to this Gibson? We have a bunch of these too to choose from, uh, but this J15 with a beautiful burst, and, and I mean, both of these are incredible value. Solid wood American made guitars with a pickup and a case, and, and just that play and sound great. Which one would you buy with your money? Which one sounded the best to you? Could you hear some differences? What do you think of the new 317? Comment below and let us know. I wanna thank you for watching and remind you to subscribe and turn on your notifications by clicking that bell over there so that you know when we put out a new video. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching our videos. If you enjoy what we're putting out, help support this channel uh, by going uh, down below and purchasing one of the t-shirts we've made for you. Uh, rock your support for one of the oldest music stores in Texas and the country and your love of guitar. Just purchase below, help support our videos, and go to our website, alamomusic.com, for more goodies that you can get. Thanks.